And today, we're gonna to talk about WordPress website maintenance. Your e-commerce site acts as the primary platform for your business. While you can promote your website and your business in other places, your actual physical website is where all the sales and transactions happen. A single performance flaw like a slow landing page or a security breach can end up costing hundreds if not thousands of dollars and end up upsetting your customers. And in turn, they might not want to purchase from you. And chances are they might not ever come back to you ever again and they may opt for a competitor's offer and stop purchasing from you ever again. Properly maintaining your site is absolutely key in getting a really good user experience and keeping customers happy. So by maintaining your site, you're keeping customers happy and you're actually making your business run much more smoothly. So we here at WooNinjas have been working with WordPress and WooCommerce for a while now. And we know the ins and outs of how to keep your storefront and your website healthy and running smoothly. And we're gonna break it down for you in this video. Welcome to today's video. You're here with Wu Ninjas, your trustworthy team of WordPress experts. Okay, before we jump in and share with you how to do the maintenance on your WordPress site yourself, we're going to share with you a package we offer to allow the maintenance to be done by our team of professional staff. And there's quite a few elements that go into a maintenance plan, but we're gonna quickly just shoot over them. Security optimization is one, speed optimization, uh, keeping the plugins updated, website backups, customer code monitoring, performance module, all sorts of things, and even consulting with a trained expert. We have three plans, check it out, link in the description. So here we are at the WordPress dashboard, and some of the things you really have to keep in mind for maintenance are backups. There's a variety of different ways of doing this, but there's many plugins that solve this issue. But you got to make sure that you're doing it the correct way. Also regarding security, it's very important to do malware scans to see if there's any malware existing on your site that could potentially affect your customers or visitors. Also a big thing is SEO. So if you ever do content or articles, it's really good to make sure that you have your links updated, your backlinks, and then your tags, meta tags, H1, H2, H3, all these different details to actually make sure that your articles are indexed for SEO and showing up on Google searches. Also, it's important to monitor the actual WordPress code to make sure nothing is out of whack and everything's working smoothly and there's no bugs. And finally, there's just general updates, whether that's WordPress or even all the plugin updates that might happen. And then even features within different plugins may need to be updated as well. And making sure you have the right plugins activated or deleted or updated is also very important to keeping your whole WordPress site and e-commerce store running smoothly. Also, regarding updates, it's very important that you have a staging site to try out your updates before actually making them go live on your site. Uh, this includes the WordPress core updates, WooCommerce, WooCommerce plugins, WooCommerce themes, LearnDash, BuddyBoss. All these are absolutely mission critical to making sure your website runs successfully. So you don't want to have any mistakes when you're doing those updates. And regarding payments, it's really important that you test your payment gateways and shipping options before actually making everything go live. For this example, we're using WooCommerce, which we've integrated with LearnDash for our e-learning sites. And it's very important to either test out live or enable test mode to test these out, test different numbers, testing different shipping methods. And it's also important to test out each and every single different uh, payment method that you have available, including the Apple Pay, Stripe, and everything. So it's just really good to make sure everything works once before you actually make it live on your site for people to actually pay for your product with. Okay, so here we are again in the back end of WordPress and we're just over at products under WooCommerce and I'm gonna click and show you an example of what's the minimum viable but also a very bad product offering. And yes, we did just throw this together but this is what some people may do. Okay, great, you maybe have started the landing page but this isn't very good, it's uncategorized, there's little details. There's nothing about the course in here. And you know, this looks a little wonky where it zooms in. Uh, there's no customer reviews. There's no description. This is out of format. So all these details you need to address with every single item that you're listing and whether you think that having a related product mentioned there is a good idea. So I'm gonna jump in and show you an example of a more well done uh, platform. 
and product offerings. So this is our WooCommerce quick launch service. And if you go through, you see it's very well laid out, simple descriptions, some graphics with pretty much the key takeaways, everything you need, and it gives us a call to action, which is a contact us. And sometimes it's very good to also have reviews baked in. So a Trustpilot is very, uh, trustworthy a source of reviews. So if you're able to get Trustpilot reviews, it's always good to integrate them into the end or some part of your sales page. And here is uh, some of our great reviews on Trustpilot, which you can integrate too uh, very seamlessly, but you need to have the reviews first. So all these things help with whenever you get traffic to your page, which costs you a lot of time and energy, helping those people convert. Also regarding coupons, it's very important to make sure you have all the right extensions and plugins done for coupons before you're ready to go live. You can create your own coupon within WooCommerce under marketing coupons and just make sure you have the right extensions. You know, do you want smart coupons, free gift coupons, group coupons, store credit coupons, and you would just simply click on create your first coupon to just do a basic coupon in this circumstance. But remember, after you create it, you definitely should test it because many times there could be a little error that causes the coupon not to work and frustrating your customer and having them abandon their cart as a result. Also, another thing you really can't forget is your inventory. So you go under to WooCommerce, go to products, go to all your products. And one of the most important things is that the products that you have listed are the ones that are actually being sold. Meaning if something's discontinued, you have to delete it. Or if something is going to be added, it's added. So all these things can be managed right here in your product page. And it's also good to always check through your products and make sure the prices are updated. Uh, we've had clients who have uh, discounted things for sales and then never forgot to increase the price after the sale was over. So it's always monitoring and maintaining everything to make sure everything is working solid. In conclusion, when it comes to maintaining your WordPress site, your WooCommerce store, your LearnDash extension, Buddy Boss extension, whatever that is, it takes some time and expertise. There's even times when, you know, buttons that you thought were one place have moved and they give you updates. Uh, so it is a pretty important task that does take a lot of time and expertise. You can totally do it yourself. It just takes a lot of learning. But if you want that covered for you and you want that stress off your shoulders, uh, check out our WooCommerce maintenance plan. And what it offers is pretty much everything you need to kind of set it and forget it. Along with our more premium plans give you one hour or two hours of custom coding work per month. So if you have a couple fixes, it's included in your plan. And you can just batch those hours together if you get the, the annual plan. If you don't have a few fixes for a couple months, you can just get some more work done down the line. So this is a great way to trust that your WooCommerce WordPress site is working and functioning at top speed and you don't have to get into the nitty gritty of it. So check the link in the description and look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. And please don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more WordPress WooCommerce content.